Man, oh man. Weather is starting to cool down here in Night Island, Las Vegas. And I can say finally we can start working on Jalen's Evo in the garage. It's been so hot the whole summer. It started cooling down about last week and it's like almost the mid of October. But dang, I could never work in the garage during the summertime, which was like over 110 degrees and it was just insane. I'm excited to work on Jalen's Evo again. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long three months since we even uploaded anything on the YouTube channel. Got some priorities, you know, with life and all that stuff, family, work. Woke up this morning and it was nice and cold. It was like about 60 degrees. Me and the wife walked around in the neighbor. Get some little exercise because I need it. A little bit of update if you guys have followed me on Instagram. So we did got a replacement driver's side JDM headlight. This is the Evo 8. We got the replacement headlight in May when I was in the Big Island on vacation. Picked it up from a buddy of mine. We got that installed. The old headlights over there is chilling. This is the one that I somewhat restored. Cleaned the headlights and the housing in the inside. Got it painted and screwed up that corner of the headlight so this is chilling i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it probably gonna try fix it try to rechrome it or something i don't even know second me and Jalen, we talked about this a few times and we decided to take the wing off looks really nice reminds me of my evil back in hawaii the only problem is that when we try to remove the wing it had like double side tape on top so when we pulled it it chipped the paint and that sucks so i don't know why double side tape was on there in the beginning you don't really need it four hardware that holds up holds the wing up in place so but yeah we're stuck with that but i'm not really too worried about it i got some little goodies that i want to install on Jalen's evo so i figured I'd pick up the camera and install some little modification on the car something i wanted to do for a while now one would be the wiper arms you can see they're just peeling Two, I want to clean this cowl over here. The roof trim, it's chipping off, showing chrome. This roof over here is all a little faded. I want to do something about this. And also, we did pick up some Evo 9 carbon vent trims over here. So we got, we got this from Nick from the Evo Grim Reaper. Gave me a good price on it. I could have passed on. This thing is in good condition. There's no sign of any scratches or whatsoever. So I'm very happy with the purchase. Just a little touch up on the car. That's all I'm going to probably do in the video. It's going to probably make a huge difference. So we did order a vinyl wrap for the roof only. And unfortunately, it ain't showing up. Today is Sunday. So it, might, it is going to show up the next day. But I'm going to go ahead and just prep the roof and you know we're just gonna take care of whatever stuff today and then when it comes in tomorrow we can lay the vinyl wrap on the roof it's gonna look so good so yeah let's go ahead and pop the wipers off the cowl pop the roof trim out i'm also gonna be doing the rear wiper as well because this thing does not look good <laughs> call off the roof trim and also the rear cover for the rear wiper of course all the clips most of them broke but being that it was like factory since day one of course they're gonna break over time so I do need to order a new ones I want to go ahead and install these guys so that they're not in the way on the table super excited to get that swapped out with the ones that we have in the car these things are black and I did painted like two or three years ago and it looks all right but with the carbon fiber it's gonna look a lot bit different
Next up is the roof trim. So what I'm gonna be using, and it's the only thing I have here, is to use the, ow, ow, that is sore. It's the wheel wire brush. So I'm gonna just try clean all this paint or material off on the roof as much as I can. This is all the tool that I have so whatever works is what I'm gonna be using to remove all this off on the roof trim. And we're gonna use some safety glasses, which I left mines at work. So I'm gonna be using the wife's one. Safety first. Last thing I wanna do is have one of these wire fly into my eye and that won't be great. So we got the first roof trim <laughs> somewhat okay and prep, I guess you can just say. I ended up using IPA just to kind of clean the surface. Honestly, I mean, at first when I was starting to do it, I feel like it was just kind of a waste of time. You know how like when you just picture things and assume that it's going to look perfect? Of course, we got to get this thing painted. It's not going to look perfect, but um, with the budget, of course, this is maybe the best route to go with and not sure how it's going to turn out but once we lay the first paint on top this we'll just see and how it's going to look once it's uh dry and cure i mean it's not obviously it's not going to look you know 100 percent oem factory we got the roof trim hanging so we are going to go ahead and lay some paint on top probably two coats maybe seven minutes each probably and let's see how this thing actually looks after I know this is like a waste of time right now, but we're already in it. And to be honest, I wanted to just experience this just to see how it's going to turn out. But of course that when you're removing the material off on the roof trim, it's some molding. So it's not like when you paint it and stuff, it's going to look like what it's supposed to look. Right now is not the time and money to buy a brand new one right now. Moving on to the windshield cowls. I'm going to get this thing cleaned up, spray some degreaser, rinse it off, blow it out. And then we can apply some IPA, which is a 70% alcohol, wipe it down. And the choice that we're going to be using is Cerakote Trim Coat. We use this on my friend's car. It does really do a good job. So I'm excited to apply this on top of the windshield cowl. And also, once we get that done, I do want to do the mirrors as well. This one looks good. I think these looks okay. I'm just going to leave that alone. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that.
we got the cowl all coated and look how this thing looks guys that looks so much better so you do have to wait for an hour to cure then we can reinstall the cowl back on the car so now let's go ahead and do the same with the driver and passenger side mirror three screws that is underneath the mirror move it out of the way so that way we can we can trim coat this part of the mirror makes your life a little bit easier it's not as much stuff to take out to remove the mirror I decided to coat the fuse box cover, the spark plug cover, the two panels on the fenders, and also the wipers cover as well. Moving forward, let's go ahead and remove the wipers off the arm. I do need to go ahead and get it prepped out with this guy over here. We'll try to prep it down as much as we can. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray the wiper arms and also spray this guy. I need to go ahead and pop the washer nozzle off on this thing before we go ahead and lay some paint. While the wiper arms are being dry right now, let's go ahead and install a clutch fork stopper. This guy over here mounts right where the clutch slave is and this prevents the retainer clip on the clutch that's clipped onto it to break off. Over time, the retainer clips gets worn out from like hard launches and power shifting and whatnot. We do have the ACT monolock that which is on my clutch and it's a one solar piece collar, but being that this car doesn't have it, we are gonna go ahead and put this on to prevent that happen. We have to remove the intercooler piping and also the intake piping from the turbo out of the way so we have room to get this thing installed. Adjust the stopper to where the clutch fork is so that way we don't have this issue. Unfortunately, the bolts are not long enough because it's a little bit shorter and when you run the clutch fork stopper, it takes, it adds a little height into it. So we're unable to use it. So we're just going to leave everything the way it is. All the trim pieces over here is secured and the window cowls. Damn, that looks so nice. Imagine buying brand new ones. I don't know how much they cost though, but for 13 bucks with the Cerakote trim coat, it looks really good and does a great job. I want to go ahead and put this spark plug cover on. And let's go ahead and put these guys on. They look so clean. Of course, the whole bay is it's all dirty. It's not the best looking shape. Mirrors is back on on both sides. And it looks so nice. You can see a little two-tone on it. Of course, it's going to be different, but... Then again, it looks really good. Here are the wiper arms that turns out. I say it looks better than how it was before. Then it was just like all peeling. There is a little fish eye on some of the areas, but I can't be more happier than how it looks with the rattle can special. It looks really good. Jalen likes the rear wiper on the car. She doesn't want to do the delete, so we're just going to leave at that. But we're going to put those wipers on later because we still need to install the cowl back on. But here are my friends that just came in today. Today's Monday and the wrap is finally here. Let's go ahead and open the box up and make sure that the wrap is good. 
We ordered a Vivian black high gloss wrap and this is a 10 foot this is the 10 foot by 5 foot this should be enough to cover the whole roof on Jada Z Wade. I'm so excited I personally never did wrap on a car before or any panel besides the front lip but it was just a small size cover up of the paint on the paint chip but I'm excited to try it out and hopefully that I do a good job so the, the first thing that we need to do, we do have to prep the roof, get the surface all nice and cleaned up. We gotta remove the antenna as another one. Car is, has been washed for a few days. I'm sure it'll, it'll be fine. We can just uh, wipe it down with IPA on the panels where the rub is gonna lay down. But very stoked to put this high gloss on this roof. It's gonna look way better with this roof being so faded. The wrap is gonna be a game changer, guys. From there on, we're just gonna go ahead and just spray some soapy water. We're gonna squeegee out whatever air that is in the wrap. And by then, we should be able to just cut the section where we need to, tuck the vinyl wrap in the moldings, and then also in the sunroof area, the antenna right over there. I must say guys, this is such an experience, but I'm excited because I'm learning something. It takes a lot of time and patience, but it's gonna be well worth it once we uh, finish I'm doing the cut up and tucking everything. We made some huge progress guys. It turned much better than how I thought it would be. There is some section where there's just like a little bit of like bubbles and I'm not too sure if I could try 
get those out. The only thing I messed up on this part was that I cut the vinyl a little bit too short, close to the molding. And then now you can see a little bit of the color of the body. And here's the uh, other section right here. Honestly guys, for a first time just laying vinyl wrap, I think I did okay. I mean, of course, touching vinyl for the first time, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if I even prepped the surface right. All I did was just I clay bar and use IPA, whatever dirt that was on the surface, blow it out. You know, I'm learning guys. I'm not perfect, but as you can see, this thing looks sick. I'm happy for my first try. I mean, that was... A lot of work this probably at least I spend I probably spend like at least three hours total just on the roof though but I just wanted to take my time just to get familiar of how to use the vinyl when to stretch when to use the heat and start tucking everything away but the way how it looks right now with the black roof looks so good I am gonna go ahead and wrap up on this video guys there's plenty more stuff that we have to do but for now I think that we did a good progress of how everything turned out so on the next video we are gonna be installing everything back that we took off I'm so happy to be videoing again and holding the camera sorry if I sh sorry if I feel a little bit nervous it's just been a minute but hopefully we can continue on vlogging make more videos and do more stuff on the evil so hello guys i'll see you guys on the next video